Hello Father, how art thou? Hi. Oh, that's a pretty new skin. What's this? A woo. Oh, free stuff. We like it. Oh, te amo. That one's really pretty. Daddy likes. How much are you? Do I want this? Do I want it? Do I need it? I think I do. You can still play Stork and not get absolutely raped by energy. Fan. Fantastic news. I thought that that would be the case. Energy is not grossly overpowered. In my opinion. Let me get my Kaladesh codes. I want to get my free Kaladesh code. So let's go to the store. And we will redeem a beautiful, beautiful god, Daddy. Oh, Tiamo. Seems to get pushed out of a little bit by artifact decks and control decks. Yeah, I can, I can see that for sure. We got a nice kettle dish pack right here. Funky fresh to open up, baby. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Countless Gears Renegade Revolt. When Countless Gears Renegade enters the battlefield, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, create a 1 1 color servo artifact creature token. Malfunction. Enchant creature or artifact when malfunction enters the battlefield tap an enchanted permanent. Chipper doesn't untap during his controller's on tap step. What's the redeem code? It is uh oh with a capital T and a capital K. That's it. Oh shoot, I wanted to look at that. I will, oh, we could do sealed Kaladesh. That could be fun. How many you get? Six. You get guaranteed nine. So if we get six, we get three wins. We get 1,200 back. What is, what is 800 golden packs? Or 800. Okay. Oh, we can do it with gold. Ooh, we should draft Kaladesh. That might be fun. We might have to do that. We may need to draft Kaladesh. David, I messaged you before I got on, brother. I did. I can't see any of your delicious packs. All I see is a screen. That's good. What? I just uh, I can't see any of your delicious packs. All I can see is a screen. Let's well, intro screen. You were drawing. No worries. It's showing it for me, man. You sure? It's working on my end, man. You special? Yeah, I know, he's special. It's okay, he's our special. He's our special boy. Where did my... 
So things I got for you. We got an emote. Let's go. What what is a W oh an emote. Yeah yeah. Cool. New animated background. Heck yeah. You the real homie, Chief. Damn, we gotta add so much bullcrap to this deck. No commander cards, no sacrifice sack. We may search, sacrifice a creature, or discard a creature card if you draw a card. You gain life, you can set sacrifice creature's toughness. That might be good. Webcam frame, sweet. Oh, why is this not showing my it's not actually picking up me doing the card change. That's weird. Um, hold on one second. It's not showing. There we go. There we go. For some reason it wasn't showing me looking at my cards. There we go. <clears throat> That's what you were talking about. Yeah, that was super weird. It was showing the other thing, but it wasn't showing what I was actually looking at. So we can pay to sack a creature. I mean, Corvold's gonna sack stuff anyway. Hmm. We can blow that up to Corvold. Oy vey. Wrinkle may be good. That'd be good if it was the other way around, giving it to us. Might throw Wrinkle in there, he's pretty freaking good. Sacrifice creature, put a 1-1 counter, and hobble feed. This full damage strike creature plays a command permanent, permanent with total damage of the base, you sacrifice a land. A non-red permanent. Sacrifice a creature, deal 2 damage to any target. Fling might be good. When you sacrifice a permanent, put a 1-1 counter on this boy. Sounds good. Hmm. Haste might be good. That's going to generate us food. Sacrifice put food, put a counter on it. Hmm. We could do a food esque theme with it. Bro, you are a good. Oh, and how to set up donations through Steam Labs. Three packs of Kaladesh, and you got one of the best artifacts in there. I could not stop nutting. That's what's up. This seems good. This makes a lot of food when it comes in, but it is kind of hard to cast. He seems good. Seems good. Seems good. We're gonna put the Evolving Wilds and the Fable Passage in there. Hmm. This lets us make more brooms. That could be kind of funny. Redeemed in real life. You cannot say the word food. Bruh. That's a, like, linchpin of the deck, though. For how long? 
We never specified how long this ban was. That is an error. Does it say five minutes? It doesn't say, bro. <laughs> yeah, it don't say. I can't say it now. That's sad. <laughs> you know, that worked with me trying not to say like, though. I say that significantly less than I used to. Yeah, none for me, man. You right. Um, this thing gets plus one plus one for each non-basic land my opponent controls. Become the target of a spell sacrifice and put a one-one colors construct into the battlefield, equal to its power. Create a number. That's good. We'll put that in there. So this draws us a card, and then we can sack it. Just like egg. Egg is good here. Hmm. We made an error. However, I can type it out. Ha ha. Big nut. Destroy target creature. Create a word that I cannot say token. We're going to add that. With at least three black mana was used to cast this spell. Create something I cannot say. Giant skewer is probably good here. We need more creatures though. Bog naughty. That's gonna be good. This is good. You're wondering, Swamp Nut. Bro, that could become horrifying big. It's non basic, right? So, does it also include tokens? It's only lands. I don't think you can get a token land. If you're wondering, chat, he can't say the word, that word, for the rest of the stream. Yeah. I'm kind of sad about that miss watch there. <laughs> Yes, can. This man makes three, but... This thing, we just sack it to make game life. Battlefield. That makes one. Hmm. Alright, we still need eight cards. Let's check our curve out real quick. Got a lot of little drops. We need some heavy hitters. We need reanimation. We have no reanimate cards. How about we don't own? None. Graveyard. To the battlefield, attach to target creature. Quick creature plus one zero plus equals one as long as the opponent has eight more cards out of graveyard. Not what we're looking for. Return target creature card to your hand. The spell's kicked. Return it to creature cards. That's good. This is probably. This one's a maybe. Target creature gets minus one, minus one. Exile target card from a graveyard. With a creature card, you gain three life on the most draw card. No feet. Going full Stalin. Yes. Pretty sure you can make a token of a land that you have on the field if it's a creature. Am I correct? Um, only if the spell says that you can target the land because usually you can't make a copy of a token creature because technically it's still a land. Like it's a land creature, so it would have to be able to target both those things. For example, with Nissa. This card's actually bananas in this deck. Return to creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Yes. We don't have very many enchantments, to, from my understanding. This also allows us to recur it. 
could be good. This card's pretty good. Uh, I don't have very many red cards either. What do you do? Choose one. If this card was kicked, choose any number instead. Target opponent discards two. Return target creature card from any cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Destroy target creature card with card cost three or less. Seems good. Recursion seems good. Sacrifice Silvermine Ghoul, draw a card. We don't think we have any life gain. Oh, we can sack the things we can't say. So he might be good. So one plus the number of card types on cards in your opponent's graveyard. We may run this boy. I mean, everyone likes Lily. E2 Extinction is a piece of solid removal. Uh, just a battlefield search your library for a card. Put the card in your grave in the trophy library. Spells you cast from your grave cost one less. Return card, card from your grave into the battlefield with a lifelink counter on it. It's kind of overcosted, and we don't really have anything that scary to bring back. We'll run that in our one of our land slots. Hmm. This draws us a new hand, which is pretty good. We have a lot of low drops. Ooze is not that good in this deck. This is more recursion. It's recursion and a land, so we will swap out a forest for that. Let me play lands from your graveyard. Oh, we 100% need him. That text right there. With a pity, I have reinstalled Magic Arena because of disk space. I had to delete it. That is a shame, my friend. Can you put it on a different disk? Because I know my C drive was full as balls, and I put it on my D drive, and that was way better. But hopefully that you can get that resolved, then we can play some Brawl. I'm not sure how to say your name. Neofiet. Neofiet. I have one SSD and it's so small, and it is small. Dude, I'm sorry. New fit, new fit. That's a sweet name, man. Turn all lands from your grave to the battle. What? This card is bananas. We need World Shaper in here. What do we drop for World Shaper? Do we drop pie? Hmm. That sounds really annoying. Yeah, that does sound. That sounds super sad, man. It took long in creating and getting into a framework. Yeah, I'm kind of a potato when it comes to computer stuff. I usually defer to my David the Mushroom, and he gives me the teachy teaches. But I hope that you can resolve that because I would definitely want to play. It is just Phonic Dave. <laughs> I don't think he was referencing your name. I think he was referencing the lack of disk space. Otherwise, that was mean, Dave. That was a bully. <laughs> um, 10 out of 10. Hmm... Oh, we could run Clothis in this deck. That would be funny. We really need World Shaper, though. I mean, maybe we get rid of Bake. This is an Exile. That's a Destroy, but it gives us a food. Maybe we get rid of Perforos. He's not really that good in this deck. Yeah, I think we do. I may message you sometime. Please do. 
I would love to play if you can get your game to figure out how to get it to work, man. Supposedly, in the beginning quarter of 2021, we're supposed to be able to have Magic on mobile, which will be sweet. Yeah, Dave is a lad, 100%. I kind of want Clothus in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-two. 14, 21, 22. We need land too. Crap. 23. Maybe we're all right. Our land, our curve is really low. 2.5? Yeah, it's pretty low. Hmm. Might get rid of encryption and run Clothus instead. All right. I think this looks fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 14, 21. They're a little light on land. But how's everybody doing tonight? Oh, wait. This thing's actually really good. Ooh, Tudor's good, too. Shoot, I forgot that I had it. Tudor might need to be... Tudor might need to take a spot up here. We'll be around not looking to install again. Keep on. That's fair. Maybe when mobile comes out, you'll be able to get in it. That would be super fun. Do you play any other games? What games are you into? I forgot that I did not have all of my options available to me. We probably should run Cultivate. Cultivate is very good. Garrick's actually pretty good in here. Some classic WoW! Some World of Tanks, Lightning, Northguard, RTS, and doing a little magic arena. Hopefully, stay tuned, guys. I'm out. Bye, brother. Thanks for stopping in and saying hey. Appreciate you saying hi. I kind of want to get back into WoW, so we'll have to talk about that again. For sure. I think we need to run Garrick, too, actually. Maybe instead of Clothis. Because he makes little wolfies. Oh, wait, no. That's a different one. That's the one that makes the pigs. Maybe we don't want him. Oh, we want that one though. I'm talking to the number of lands you control. Now I'm talking creatures you control or force lands in addition to their other types. Oh, that Gargaroth is really freaking good too, bro. We need that. Cool, okay. That's awesome. Huh? I like that. I would thumbs up that if I had the ability to. Yeah, we need this. For sure. Can I run two Temple of Melodies? No. 
I didn't think I could. Oh, we could run a Mori. Mori's battle shoes, card type. Nah, this doesn't make this not good in this deck. I can't run Assassin's Trophy, which kind of sad. I want that. We could run Woo Girls. Woo Girls are fun. Oh, this is a Garrick we want. We want him. Oh, she's freaking good too. So is Grum Gully. Alright, well, this is going to be the first iteration. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seventeen, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. We are a little bit above what we need. Then we drop a mountain. We got to cut three things. Our average is 2.7. I'd like to not get rid of creatures. Oh, we got an extra land there too. This is a land. I don't really want to cut another forest though. Cut a swamp. Uh, we'll cut forever young. It's a little bit slow. He brings himself back. Get rid of Omen. Yeah, let's run with this. We will try it out. We have revamped uh, Corvold. Oh shoot, did I put that in Brawl? Hold on, I don't know. <coughs> Waiting for server. Play. Yeah, we're in Brawl, okay. Let's go. Tiamo. Jerome Best versus Lothontis. Well, we got a command tower to start off. That's pretty freaking good. Yeah, we like that. Nah, we keep it. Our opponent is using Nissa as their commander. Goal profit. We will offer our opponent a trade. They said no, thank you. Migration path. Greetings. Hey, thanks. You're the bee's needs, Audrey. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I kind of want to kill this. I think we'll hold because he's going to play Nissa. I appreciate you for giving me the McFollow. Hopefully you have a lovely time hanging out with the homies. You are my enemy. We are gonna remove our opponent's commander. That does not matter to us. I take responsibility for this loss. Oh shoot, I ain't got no mana yet. We will play this. <laughs> they can play their commander again, but it now costs six. Lucranos. Okay. <laughs> we don't really care. We have claimed the firstborn. All these things are fine. Hmm.
We do need another land. I'd like to not use this for the land, so we're not gonna. We will hold. Our opponent has a big scary man. We have made our opponent miss three of their landfall triggers. Oh, that's bad. <clears throat> the massacre wormed us. Okay. That did not go as well as we had hoped for. We won't block. The Massacre Worm kind of screws us up because our deck wants to sacrifice stuff. <clears throat> yeah, good game. We have been defeated. Oh. Oh. We have returned. Let's try that again. Perhaps it was a fluke. Perhaps our deck is bad. But it is the first iteration. Well, the first new iteration. So we gotta work out the kings. A little bit of hydration to wet my whistle. Again, this looks okay, but we get a free mill again, so we'll try it. Eh. Marginal. She's pretty okay, but we kind of need land. <clears throat> this is a more efficient play. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an enchantment card from one of them and put that in your hand. For the rest on the bottom of your library, in any order, exile, target a card or enchantment you don't control until the target enchantment you control leaves the battlefield. Return all enchantment cards from your grave to the battlefield. So this is an enchantment deck, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll play little homie. We don't really want to sack Fable Passage until we're ready to play Corvold. That's pretty good. Uh, I'll take the one. That seems okay. We're gonna play that just to threaten our opponents to have them stop swinging at us. Again, we'd like to hold Fable Passage, but we might not be able to because we do need the four land for Eat to Extinction. I think it would be prudent to get green since a lot of our stuff is double green costs. <laughs> Temple of Plenty. Make some pretty bird sounds when it comes in. That's cool. 
Lucky Tenem. Yes, you get to scry. We can return two creatures, so we may... We will probably block when they attack because we can return them next turn. So we're cool with him attacking here. He elects to not attack. Cool. We will hold. Now, if my opponent removes Corvold, we are going to let Corvold go into the graveyard because we have a call of the Death Dweller. Which allows us to return two Kirk Creature cards with converted mana costs. Actually, that would be dumb. Never mind, we ain't going to do that. I am a scion of Clovis, the furious god of fate. <clears throat> cool. The stars will light our way. Chant creature planeswalker can't attack a block after its builders can't be activated. That's rude, bro. I think we are going to kill. Does that reach? No. No. That's pretty good. We will. Hmm. Do we want to? Act? We could just attack and kill it, honestly. Mundeva. Get him out of the way. Forgive my failure, Clothis. And I think we will play our food maker. <coughs> So we have a little semi-engine right here with food generation, yeah. We knew that he was gonna do that, that's fine. We can kill it. The selfish will be brought to order by my hand. You leave my enchantment alone. You leave my hunter alone. Light banishes you from this world. That's rude. <laughs> that is indestructible. I might block it just because I can death dweller anyway. Yeah, I will. I know that doesn't kill it. I am aware. Get rid of that. Uh, it's fine. The patterned future appears before me. Kind of annoying that they've crippled Corvold. I have to use Murderous Rider on him. <clears throat> um, I could play. Fiend Artisan and blow up Corvold. Actually, no, 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 no. I forgot. Forgot we put Wrinkle on the top. We want Wrinkle there. And we will.
We will swing. Rankle will go after homeboy. She gonna go to face. She gonna make us some uh, delicious food. Oh, woo. Don't you dare do it. That's perfect. He dies. Was I fated to fail? Did Wrinkle not trigger? Oh, it's to a player. My bad. I made an error. I thought that would work attacking a planeswalker, but I'm dumb. <laughs> Two, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's fine. Cool, he did it for us. Uh, yes. Two, three, four, five, six. So we need a land. Oh, baby, we need a land. That is not a land. What do you do? That makes a bunch of pegasi. This allows us to just keep playing Fable Passage over and over again, which is nice. If he does not have an answer to Ancient Green Warden, we should be able to have a value engine in place. <clears throat> and he only has two cards in hand. <laughs> you are all responsible for the damage to destiny. He gets this, show me my path. Cool. Yeah, the Pegasus does not matter. We don't. We do not care. Let us get this engine rolling, baby. Let us make a food. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oof. I can't really attack here, but I could force him to block with everything. And it kind of shuts off our ability to do that. I like it, though. Because he has to commit his Pegasus and his Spinner. Okay, that's fine. We are okay with that. No. Oh, you're going to take that one? Okay. That's actually fine. I am blessed by Nyx. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, these Pegasus don't really matter. Hmm. We can bring Foulmire and Order of Midnight back. We could just kill his commander again. Kinda like that. We'll get rid of that. Destiny draws me elsewhere. Okay, this spider is a little bit annoying.
We'll decline because we have blood beckoning. <clears throat> yeah. I am a scion of Clothis, the furious god of fate. The patterned future appears before me. Face fetters. Enters the battlefield, you gain four life. Enchanted permanent can attack or block. Inside of abilities cannot be activated unless they are mana abilities. We do need to heal. At some point. Um, do I have any lands in my graveyard? Just one. Whoa. No, not a, I think the spider is the best one, but he might grab the dryad. <clears throat> yeah, spider is arguably the best card there. This horse is actually starting to become annoying. Look skyward. And receive the gifts of the gods. Spawn four hundred and fifty scoots a turn? That is ridiculous. You know what? I didn't put any board wipes in this deck. That was a mistake. All his stuff is even. You must discard a card. That is a lot of scoots, man. Our opponent is deep in thought. Uh, spiders are spiders. Same. We just need to clear the board up a little bit. I think we lose because it's going to turn my thing into a a boy. The patterned future appears before me. But we need some board wipes in here. I didn't think about that. He is now Corvold Fake Curse King Elk.
good game, opponent. So, our engine worked okay. We just did not have a way to answer having Corvold repeatedly controlled. I need some board wipes. Exile. I know I have a couple. We need this. 100%. I still think Cultivate is good. Pi is probably bad. We'd switch Pi out for Extinction Event. And I know there's a red card that deals 4 damage to everything. Storm's Wrath, yes. We kind of need Storm's Wrath. Let's try. <clears throat> Let's try that. That might help a little bit. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't like that that's our green source of mana, but it's kind of okay. We'll keep it, I guess. 1,200 scoots? That is a lot of scoots, man. That is a significant amount of scoots. I... We can pay three life to make that come in on tab, so I guess we'll pay that for now. <clears throat> Cauldron Familiar. We can flash in the Paragon next turn if necessary. Oh, perfect. We drew another land. So we will wait to flash him in. We'll flash him in at the end of our opponent's turn. We ain't even done yet. That's a lot of scooties, bruh. Okay, we saw this card last time. Maybe we should be running Skull Prophet. Deals damage. Target creature control deals damage. Attack. That's fine. <clears throat> We're cool with that. Um, we will pay the life. We will offer our opponent the trade. They elect to not take the trade. If they play Garrick, that's fine, because we have E to Extinction. They play a giant monkey. Okay. So this is interesting, because we could deal 11 damage and put our opponent within killing range real quick. Does this on tap it? It does. Okay, bigger brain. We are going to take this boy, put a Corvold, and then sack the profit to Corvold. Oh, I'm dumb, because I don't have a red mana now. Never mind. I am retarded. I made a mistake. Shoot. My bad, I misplayed. 
I did not take into consideration that I needed the one mana to do 2,222 scoots. Leave me be and you'll escape with your life. We were born for the hunt. That is a lot of scoots. We're gonna get rid Next of that. Next time you're dead. Um, uh, we'll graveyard that. That seems fine. We'll pass. We can return Questing Beast to our hand with Midnight. We need another land though. If we get Corvold out, we're in business. Pelucranos, that's not good. Alright, now we need our exile everything. Minion Master's Guild has been created. Let's go, baby! That's some things we are into. Are you indestructible? No. Okay. Let me scry. Perfect. We're gonna take the questing beast. Max Scoots per turn is 2,682 per turn. That is a lot of Scoots. This Blood Aspirant sounded good, but I'm not loving it as time goes on. Are primal and violent. That's quite a large oh, amount of scoots, man. You're not scared of dogs, are you? You're not scared of dogs, are you? Yeah, we'll block the Luke and Rose. I don't know. We'll take the damage. At least before magic crashes. Yeah. So. I want to play that, but I, I got to get rid of. Could get rid of Pelucranos. Yeah, we could, we could do that. I think I like that, because I could just fly over and whack his other thing. Our opponent may be able to kill us before we can re establish ourselves and then we can we will do that yes it is all coming together Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh lord, so we take nine next turn. That's not good. Maybe our deck is just too slow. You're not scared of dogs, are you? You're not scared of dogs, are you? I mean, normally no, but a little bit now. All right, chat. I need a legendary creature. I think we gotta build something new. This man's not gonna get us there. Can you block? Prevent that damage and put a 1 1 counter on it. Okay. I'm trying to see if I have an answer here. He does not have haste. This does, does have haste, but it doesn't quite answer the problem. I don't have enough mana there. We'll play him. We will attack with everything forward, and we will die next turn. So this has death touch, so I feel like it should still die, or does that get negated? Yeah. But we die from the Bastion trigger. There's a 1-1 one -one bug token in magic. What is a scoot? Yeah, scoot swarm is a landfall card that replicates itself 
if you have four or more lands, every time you play a land, you make more of the scoots. So they multiply. It is a problem. Green or blue is for our quest, so we will try to make a, a Simic Commander. And we, can we do Legendary? We can do Creature. I don't think we can do Legendary specifically. I can think I can put it in here. Legendary. Yeah. I would like one that is both green and blue. Bro. Wait, we got such a format. Green and blue. Rip Omnath. Oh, there's Narset. She would be fine. Girls all the split current. When he enters the battlefield, the one one counter for each mana spent to cast it. Whenever you cast a kick spell, you may remove two one one counters from Verisol if you do copy that spell. Ooh, we could do a kick deck. That would be neat. Oh, we can play Uro? He's not banned in here? Bruh. We can play Pig. Grim Grok Maul Scott Clave Ravenger enters the battlefield with three 1 1 counters on it. When another creature you control dies, if it had a 1 1 counter on it, put a 1 1 counter on Grok Maul. Create X green 1 1 Hydra token for X is Grok Maul spend 1 counters on Grok Maul. Hmm, we could do 1 1 counters, that would be interesting. Interesting. Kennen is really strong. Uro's weird because you just play him, gain three life, draw a card, and he can go right back into your command zone. I kind of like this thing. She's pretty fun. I kind of want to build around this. And then um, one counter. Maybe you draw our second card. Yeah, counter tiger spell. Let's show phase one. Yeah, yeah. Put a zero zero artifact. Put a heck yeah. Sure do like that. Put a one counter on each creature you control with flying. That could be good. It's unlikely we cast that with three mana. That's kind of good, but really late game. Power to carry creature to fly. This escapes. It's kind of bad though. Mutate for a 1 1 counter. It's better for the 1 1 counter on target creature. Yes, please. Sucky Wookie, how you doing? Sucky Wookie, how are you? Sucky Wookie, how you doing? Oh, we need kick spells. Shoot. Hold up. Let me get rid of these. I'm dumb. Kicker. Kicker too. How is the sucky of the wookie? Alright, so one one counter on every grass pet. Yeah, the kick spell. You may remove two one one counters from Verisol if you do copy that spell. We need a way to put more counters on that. Maybe I don't like that guy. We would just do blue. How is your night tonight, my friend? Oh, I forgot you could use planeswalkers as your thing.
Magic Crash. You broke magic, man. You ain't supposed to break magic, bro. We could play Ashiok. That could be fun. Look at our top end, what we're going to be getting here. I like that we can have a commander and a companion. That pleases me. Want to fight the deck? Sure. Is it standard or historic? Yeah, let's go. We can try it. This is my middle of the road deck, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, you got the flower. A man of culture. Ooh, what is that? Kappa! Go, Dan! Oh. Bruh. You got a night in that shield right here. Bruh. You got land screwed up? Yeah, I exiled two of your lands. <laughs> I'm sorry. Know your mom, big gay. You guys are both challenging me simultaneously. I think I gotta give Dave another shot. I feel like that was not a, uh, a fair shake. Yeah, that didn't seem like a fair shake for the, uh, he got mana screwed. I stole two of his lands. Uh, yeah, that seems okay. Whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it becomes a target of a spell and opponent controls, create a 1-1 one, one insect, create a 1-1 one, one counter on the ambush distributor. Bruh. Okay. Beat him, beat him. Oh, are you telling him to beat me? That's rude. This is a fun deck. Bubble butt, bubble, 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 what? Well, 
Well, that's rude. That was not very kind of you to ram me, brother. Okay. Sure. I am in danger. I am staying alive. I'm upset that that made you a bug. No. have been insected. <laughs> Bruh.
That's my funny enchantment deck, man. It's fun. We playing standard or we playing historic? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. Are we playing standard or historic? I need to have one of my creatures stick on the board for that deck, and then I, uh, uh, historic. <clears throat> I need one of my creatures to stick, and then <clears throat> I stack his. Uh, enchantments on it. So having no enchantments or no creature, I mean, I cannot do anything. This is arguably fine. Hello. Oops. Hello. Vixapo and I just had an insane duo. Oh yeah? What were you guys running? Clever, I like that play. My Colossus Duo deck and his Stormbringer deck. Hmm. Mundava. I don't know which one is Stormbringer. Stormbringer the Archer guy? Bite your lips at my teeth. Yeah. Right on. We will not fail. Be wary of the ground you walk on. That extinction of it was unfriendly, sir. Sarkon! Who are you to call your end has arrived? Behold, nature's true power. I screwed up there. I made an error. Come to me. 
dude. Leave her alone, bro. Leave my girl alone. She don't yeah. like it. She don't like it like that, bro. The land shall conquer you. to them roar I am only human listen to them roar Nico Bolas what's up baby bow before your god bow a mind is it easy you didn't think of this who did you What to do here? Hmm. The land fights for us. shelter in my stewardship rise my elemental friend yeah brother I needed mana I needed red mana and blue mana something fierce We got a pack to open. Would it be? Come on. How's my night going? It's going all right. Pretty decent. Made a couple. Uh, I was working on making that brawl deck, but I got beat up a little bit. <clears throat> but apart from that, it's going okay. Whenever I fight you, this deck seems to just not want to work, and this is the deck that got me to platinum, so now I feel like a sad boy. I'm sorry. Where did you get that Nico Bolas? I didn't even know that was... I didn't even know he was an option. Of course, I don't play Historic too much. Traditional, historic, historic. He a big boy. He is a big boy. I'm more interested in what I do not have. He's in Dominaria. No, he's not. Not that one. That one was uh, an hour of, like an hour of devastation one. Yeah, it was it was this symbol. <clears throat> I want to see. <gasps> no, bro, bro, homies, no. N bro. Uh. Uh. You see this right now? You see this card right here? It's it's in the game? It is in the game? Are we serious? 
I'm upset right now. Hold on. Hold the phone. Overwhelming Splendor can be played on Arena? I'm out. I'm just kidding. Bro, I'm a little sad about that one, though. Dude, I could craft them. Oh. Oh. I think in standard, though, it's honestly not that or in, uh I don't think it's that good. Lunchbox, how you doing? I can craft a lot. I've been playing for a hot minute. I just wanted to see what the multicolored spells are. What the crap is this? Archfiend of Ifner. Whenever you cycle or discard another card, put on negative one, negative one counter on each creature your opponent controls. That is exceptionally powerful. I'm glad you're doing all right, man. I was trying to do a Corvald Brawl deck and I can't quite get it to work. I used to love Bone Dragon. Oh, cool color Gaisa. Gissa? She's freaking good too. What are you up to doing tonight? There's so many cards that I do not have. What the heck is this one? Gem Palm Incinerator. Cycling 2. Whenever you cycle Gem Palm Incinerator, you may have it deal X damage to target creature or player X to the number of goblins on the field. What? Oh, Lord, bro, I just want to say, play Stoic. Just some funny cards you can use in here, and they're also amazing. Dude, I might. That's banana. This card is nuts. And it's a uncommon? This card is amazing. You play turn one, a goblin. Play turn two, two goblins. You play turn three, a big goblin. You hit your opponent for approximately eight damage by that point. You cycle this thing and you, you get to hit them for another eight, which is 16. And then they get to be bonked for the four of the, the goblins on. You can win by turn five. Maybe sooner. Like that's, this card's stupid broken. Maybe not broken, but stupid good. And she lets you dig it up. Bro. This guy gives all your other goblins 1-1 one, one in haste. I'm going to make a goblin deck. I'm going to be that guy. Mono red gobbles. Just saw an airhead ad. Bro, look at the nickel balls cards in here. Though there was some amazing ones. Yeah. I'm so sad that Brawl does not encompass all the cards that are available to you. That makes me exceptionally sad. Ill hog. I just wanted to look at the multicolored card. This card is also really good. Heroic Convention is fantastic. If you don't own this and you're running green, you're doing something wrong. Dude, there's so many cool things. It's gonna make my head explode. You need more wild cards? Oh, Crater Hoof is in here? Bruh. I missed something. When did this card go for sale? When did this homie go for sale? What? Yeah, I've honestly just accumulated my wild cards through just playing. He be in Jumpstart? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. 
Holy crap. Holy crap, Dad. I'm seriously gonna craft these incinerators though. That's they're OP. Oh, Locust God. There's a big daddy right there. Bro, Angrath. I remember when Ixalan was a thing. Angrath was so good. Scorpion God. Oh, Bosh. Oh, Bosh is in standard. Blade Wing. This man. This is blowing my mind a little bit right now. Huh. This card, when Ravnica was in standard, or was when it was new, I went to the pre release. This man won me so many games. So many games. The cars here in a stork, I love playing them when they're just so cool. Yeah. What you said, brother. Get Rog. Dude, there's so many cool things. Where's that Nicol Bolas at? Sky Terror used to be really good too. Oath of a Johnny is pretty freaking good. Mariah's Mariah's bleh, Mariah's Wake is really good. Dude, I should play Historic. It'd be mad fun. Oh, yeah, I remember her. <gasps> Admiral Beckett Brace. There he is. Target opponent exiles cards from the top of the library until they exile a non land card. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Each opponent exiles two cards from their hand. Nickel Bolt has got to do 7 damage to target opponent or creature and opponent controls or plans block and opponent controls. Exile each non land permanent your opponent controls. Oof. Oh, that was unlucky that you hit the 1 3 then. I have some scarier cards in there than that. Oh, I should build a deck around her. She's fun. Rena, Rin, Kalia. Is Omnath playable in Historic? Yes, he is. Cool. Geshath. Cascading Cataracts. Such a cool looking card. Actually, that Pay 5 ability is pretty good. You built on that deck last night? Cool. For historic? Mazes and. Into his own hand. Yeah. Dude, I would just build goblins because I'm that guy. Good to go fast. Spire of Industry. Pay one life, add one mana of any color. That was really only if you control an artifact. It's kind of bad. Oh, they got a cool looking ornithopter. Look at that one. Whew, excuse me. That ornithopter is pretty. That one's not. This one's cool looking. Chromatic sphere. Sacrifice chromatic sphere. Add one mana of any color. Draw a card. Hmm. Trying to build the ultimate like boss deck, and I'm very close. Cool. Are you building it around Nico Bolas? Hope of Grapper. Sacrifice Hope of Grapper until your next turn. Target player who has dealt damage, combat damage by Grapper Grapper this turn cannot cast non creature spells. Yes. I know that Nico Bolas summoning cost is pretty steep, but maybe it doesn't matter 
since his ability is so good, getting that free uh, creature. Terra Rion? I don't even know what that is. This is Battlefield Tap. Sacrifice Terra Rion. Terra Rion? Add two mana on any color combination. Turn to put in the graveyard and battlefield draw a card. Huh. These mana cycle or filters seem a little bad to me, but. Sacrifice a creature, you gain four life. Sacrifice a creature named Festering Newt. Each corner loses four life. You gain life equal to the life loss this way. Ooh, that sounds like it could be fun with Vito. You pair that with Lufa. What the balls? Luff the farm engine and other nickel balls you can activate it three times in a turn. Ooh, that sounds a little broken. Don't you need the mana though? Oh, I remember that card. That card was mad busted. Key to the city. Pendulum of Patterns. When Pendulum Patterns enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Sacrifice Pendulum of Patterns. Draw a card. That card just seems bad. Perilous Mire does deal two damage to any target. Ratchet Bomb. Put a charge counter on Ratchet Bomb. Sacrifice Ratchet Bomb. Destroy each non land permanent for the mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on Ratchet Bomb. That's just like a artifact version of that land. What's the land that does that? This card is pretty good. I like this one. Sunset Pyramid. It's a battlefield. Three brick crowns on it. Remove a brick crown. A brick counter from Sunset Pyramid. Draw a card. So this is pay eight to draw a card, but you can also scry away. This is like a bad Sensei's Divining Top. With a limited amount of draws. Energy. Pay energy. Gains life link. That's kind of bad. I mean, a 3-drop for a 3-5 is pretty good. We gotta crew it. If you pair that with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chaos Wand used to have some funny interactions. Captain's Hook. Whatever, Captain's Hook becomes unattached from a permanent. Destroy that permanent. Bruh. That's kind of funny. Crucible Worlds? That a good card. Gate to the afterlife. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you gain one life. Then you may draw a card. If you do, just got a card. Sacrifice gate to the afterlife. Search your graveyard hand and or library for a card named God's Feral Gift. Put that on the battlefield. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Enter the ability only if you control six or more creature cards in your graveyard. Bro, you need to play some historic. You can make a very artistically amazing man efficient blaze walker cancer decks. Yeah. I'm, I'm seeing this. All I want to know... Oh, you can get a pretty version of this? Does that cost extra? No? Ooh, I kind of want that. You may have scope of skill on the battlefield to copy of any artifact on the battlefield. Ooh. This is making my brain do some considerations. <gasps> Aetherflux Reservoir is available? Oh, oh, daddy. I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards. Oh, I'm kind of pumped about that. Eh. If that didn't have a tap ability, that'd be good. But since it has a tap ability, it's bad. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a charge counter on Dark Steel Reactor. A Dark Steel Reactor has 20 or more charge counters on you. Win the game. Nice. Draw a card. And it go a 5-5 five, five for 4. Oh, Karn. I miss you, Karn. Nyx Lotus. Golden Guardian. Who just makes golems. That's cool. Panharmonicon. Panharmonicon is not banned? What's the one that's banned? It's not Panharmonicon. There's another one. Uh, 
Mm, it's not Planner Bridge. What is it? Shoot, I can't remember. Paradox Engine, there it is. Can we play Paradox Engine? <gasps> we can play with Paradox Engine? <sighs> this card is busted. Bro. Whenever you cast a spell, untap all non-land permanents you control. Do you know what level of autistic stuff you can do with this card? Do you know how much mana you can generate with this card? Do you know how many games you can win with this card? All them boys that I was saying that were bad when this card is on the field, they are all very, very good. Because when you kill them and blow them up, you get to draw extra cards and keep going and going and going. Leave standard and join us in historic, dude. Maybe platinum angel, te amo, mommy. <gasps> Big daddy Ulamog. Dang son, I am intrigued. I kind of want to make a goblet deck. Oh, excuse me. Bye, Charlie. Nacho Buddy. This is a bad hand. But we do have robber, which could make it a good hand. I mean, I can imagine why. It looks mad fun, honestly. There's quite a large amount of things to do. The ginger brew. Do we, uh, do we kill the ginger brew? I think we do. What's that? You gotta craft all that bull crap in order to be able to do it. Our half standard, that's a bit of historic. That's my deck for half standard. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I feel that. I would have to look and see what's actually considered good in historic. Build one of those before I went further in. This man's gained four life and I hit him for four. Launch a box hero. The hero we need. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Get that bull crap out of my way. But y'all did. I don't know. <laughs> I don't cook, I don't clean, let me tell you how I got this ring. Conclave Mentor. This is a 1 1 Connors deck. Okay. That's my stuff if you feel like adding to that. I will add you as well. My opponent doesn't play anything, I think I win. Yeah. <laughs> you already did, my dude. Did I? 
I am a little bit dumb, you know this. <clears throat> yeah, dude. I'm a little bit special. Just a tiny bit special. I'm a little bit special. Ooh, ooh. Slush puppy. But my little hands bad. Mm. Hands a little bit bad, but we're gonna roll with it. Whenever this creature mutates, target opponent creatures be minus two, minus two. That is an idea. I do not have a response for that right now. Please do not mutate. My opponent mutates, I have lost. It is pretty simple. He did not mutate, we have a chance. Attack my dwarven brother. Bro, the request has been sent, and you've been playing most of the time. Try to be, 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 be. okay. Wag. My opponent. Oh lord, they played the scoot swarm. We do not like that. That does not bring us the pleasure. However, we can now play another dwarf and do a lot of damage. Kill it. I don't have a way to kill it. I already, already shot. I haven't done anything actually. If he mutates, I think we we might be okay still. Migratory Great Horn. Yeah, Migratory Great Horn can't block us. So all he's gonna get is another. Oh no, he's gonna make another one of them. Okay. Okay. Oh. This is pretty good here. We like this. We will swing out. And if our opponent does not block all of these mans, we win. Our opponent is intelligent. We will see how many lands they can get out and how many great horns they will create. They can make two and we still win. We need one dwarf to get through. Can you make another? I guess he could just technically play two creatures. Leave my mans alone. Actually, yeah, kill Annex. That's actually good. Destroy it. That's fine. Oh no, he gets to kill two. Tiamo. Tiamo. Oh no, he only gets to kill one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So. One, two, three. He got four. We got five attackers. We can plus this three and get another three. I think we still win. I think we are okay. He has to block everything. And he still is going to be defeated. Hallelujah.
Brother, why did you not block everything? Good game. We were right at the cusp of defeat. And we have pulled it back for the glory. That looks like a butterfly. Glitch RNG. Glitch energy. What? Oh. Bruh. That looks like a butt. What is that? Huh? <laughs> I'll play one more. Then we may switch to another game if anyone is interested in watching some other content. Please let me know. This hand is arguably not great, but we gonna keep it. We gonna slurp and burp on it, in fact. Mmm, baby. Our opponent already has a giant bluffstruck beast to threaten us. They did not hit me with their little baby girl. He can't attack all block, right? Or is it just attack? He can't attack. He can block forever. Okay. Um. We can deal three damage. We could kill it. We can hang out. I think we're gonna chill. We're gonna let our dwarves grow in might. He played a big old boar. Okay. I am inclined to sit here until I can do shenanigans. Holy Lord mercy, he played a 10-10. That is a problem. We may now be in danger. I can deal six damage to it. Uh huh. I have to hold. Having that be able to fight something. Do I deal damage to it too when it fights? Does non-combat damage equal to its pot? When two creatures fight, each deals non-combat damage. Okay, we'll see what he does. We can bring this back. That is unfortunate. That is 19 plus foul, which is 23. So I need to block three of this damage. This feels sad. I can do a three, six. We have five, we can do six, seven, eight. I don't think I have a way out of this mess.
Yeah, we needed Torbrand. If we had Torbrand, we win. But we did not. <clears throat> or I'll be right back. I'm going to switch to another game. My children, I'll be right back. Greetings, my children. I am going to be playing Timo only. Because Timo is a funny boy. <laughs> 